<laughs> but um, you know, let's let's go to the other team in the group. Uh, PSG uh, played today as well. Uh, PSG have essentially secured themselves, even though the game was suspended today. But uh, what do you think about that game that was cancelled today with the referee making some uh, uh, reported racist remarks uh, in the PSG Istanbul game? Well, I think um, there's no place for racism, first of all, in football. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, anybody can play. You know, um, it, it shouldn't matter where you're from, what, you know, what colour you are, all these things. But it seems to be creeping in more and more into the game. I mean, and it's sad because... Um, I think we've be, in one sense, I would say we became very sensitive, but in the other sense, I would say you know there is no no way these things should happen, you know, and especially from a um, from an official, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, somebody even said to me earlier on tonight, you know, the only thing you have to watch is, you know, it must have been said in Romanian. I think the referee was Romanian, and mm -hmm. then you've got to look at translation and all these things. Which, okay, yes. Those things may have a bearing, but at the end of the day, if he said what he did say, you know, to me, he should not referee again, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, if, if he did. So, um, I mean, it's sad to see the game, obviously the game then halted, but to me, the players did the right thing. They felt something happened that they had to stand up for and they walked off. So, I mean, if I'm their coach, I mean, I'm probably, I would say I'm very proud of them for doing that, you know? And if you look, it looked to me as if both teams did it, you know, it wasn't just one. And I heard both players from both sides, you know, posting things online, you know, and support. So I mean, um, we do. They do have to stand up for these things. As I say, it's it's a very controversial topic. And even what I've just said, I'm sure people might have you know their opinion on that. But at the end of the day, you know, we want to see football played, and these things should not happen. Yeah, and the thing is, I'm pulling up some reports here. So, like for example, uh, you know, I'm I'm grabbing some tweets as well. But um, basically from uh, USA Today, um, not my first choice, but that's the first one that popped up. Uh, you know, the players walk off uh, the Champions League game after officials' alleged ab racial abuse. Um, they're saying the N-word was used. Um, that's the exact quote here. The resumption. Uh, they will have, the, the game will be suspended and both, both teams, as you said, they came off. And they will actually resume the game on Wednesday with new team match officials. So that's, that's interesting. Um, because I guess it's nobody's fault and there was definitely some uh, unity in this with the players walking out the field. So basically what's happening is, is that, folks, there's going to be, the match is going to continue tomorrow, which is kind of unprecedented and interesting, where it will take place at new match officials. But um, I'll have to do a bit more reading to see what exactly was said. And, you know, that's, that's a topic I guess we'll have to discuss. But I guess it's good to see some solidarity from both teams. Um, because one of the problems players had who were victims of racist abuse, racism and things like that is that, you know, they would walk off and then some of the players would encourage them to stay. Um, there's also an element that people are raising uh, with uh, translations and so on, um, where sometimes it's uh, being misinterpreted and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know if that applies to this case. So I will not say that. But uh, that's quite interesting. But uh, with all that drama aside, um, it's, it's pretty much PSG is going to go through as well as, um, uh, what's the other team? Uh, Salzburg? Leipzig. Yeah. Leipzig, sorry. Leipzig, yeah. But um, yeah. it made me think, though, I mean, depend, does that result have any bearing on Manchester United going out? Now, I don't have the group in front of me right now. Okay. You yeah. know, for example, um, could, could there be a blessing in disguise of the game tomorrow night? You know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I didn't look at the group beforehand, but, um, or are they just out, you know? Yeah, no. Well, I'm looking at the group here. Uh, they definitely, I think, uh, Manchester United are out no matter what. I think uh, the uh, uh, PSG are ahead. I think I'm trying to see if it's on goal difference. I'm looking here. This is my internet is running really slow for some reason. But as it stands, um, it doesn't change anything. I think if PSG were the cause of the uh, racism and you know they had to cancel the game because of PSG, maybe they would have uh, had some sort of punishment and awarded it to Manchester United. But I think as it is now, even if the result stays as it is, even if uh, Leipzig wins or loses, it, the Manchester United are out. So as it stands here, Leipzig are on 12 points, PSG are on 9 points, Manchester United are on 9 points, and Istanbul stays on 3. So it seems as if uh, on goal difference, that's why PSG are ahead. At least that's what it looks like to me. So... 
Tough luck, Manchester United, and also this topic about racism. Let us know what you think. What do you think about this game? What do you think about the players coming off? What do you think about racism in general? You know, it's something that's plaguing not just sport, but our society as a whole. And, you know, I had an episode with Shaka Hislop where we spoke how it affected many different people in different ways. Um, it's a plague that is, you know, everywhere. And, you know, I think healthy discussions and, you know, very proactive actions that are healthy. As I said, healthy twice. I use the word healthy because it's very easy for this to degenerate into a very ugly discussion. And people have to be very cautious in what they say. So, you know, we'll see that, how this goes. The interesting thing is, just, just as a, a final point on it, referees are there, in a sense, obviously, to manage the game, to enforce the rules, but also to protect the players. If what was said, which sounds very much like it was said, you know, they're going against what their, their mandate is to protect the players, you know? So, um, as I say, that referee or fourth official, whatever he was, will definitely be in some hot water, I think. If not banned, you know, I mean, I think that's probably going to come as well. Yeah, and you know, this is literally fresh after the game, folks, while we're recording this. So, for those of you who have more information, perhaps while we're doing this, you guys and gals are reading stuff that we haven't seen as yet. Um, we'll take a look and we'll probably dis- we'll definitely discuss it further. Maybe bring Shaka on board. Uh, you know, he's one of the founders of Show Racism, the Red Card, a huge advocate against... Uh, racism, like we all are. Nobody likes that. It doesn't belong anyway. So, you know, we'll we'll discuss it further because uh, I'm reading in the chats here, which is not the right place to really read these things. There's some people saying that it was some sort of miscommunication or whatever, but we'll see. The information will reveal itself soon. But if it is what it is on the surface as what we're seeing right now, then, you know, the, the, the punishment has to be very harsh and, you know, the, the, the referees and the association have to be very uh, strict and also very decisive in how they act because anything else would come off as, you know, they're pandering and, you know, it's, you know, we'll have to see. But, you know, we live in a society where uh, you can't escape now. These things, you are under the microscope. Everything you say is being analyzed. So you have to be careful. And I'm guessing, you know, ignorance is no longer an excuse. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So what a complicated group that was. Just a reminder, everyone, for more episodes with Shaka Hislop, be sure to head over to our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more updates, interviews, and content.